Portland State University is out here today at Cedar Creek with the Freshwater Trust and Oregon State University developing new methods for monitoring environmental impacts and environmental restoration work. So we're comparing the ground truth data that the Freshwater Trust manually collects against drone-derived imagery. I think drone technology is going to play a really important part in the future of restoration, absolutely. It's going to allow us to collect more information faster on a grander scale. So the Freshwater Trust has always been interested in collecting really high quality information at a scale that makes a big difference. So with drone technology, we're able to do that much broader. What's happening right now is really a revolution in remote sensing. We're able to look at things in ways that we haven't before. We'll have the locations and probably the heights of most of the vegetation out here that is at least a foot and a half to two feet tall. The methods we're developing here with the Freshwater Trust can be broadly applied to other conservation projects. For example, the method we're developing here, we're also going to apply in Rwanda. We're partnered in a program that's delivering cook stoves to a quarter of the entire population of Rwanda. So we're going to use the same technique to fly over villages in Rwanda and estimate if there's more biomass density that could be attributed to our cook stoves. Normally, a lot of conservation efforts are based on promises. We promise to go and restore a watershed. The Freshwater Trust has always been motivated by data-driven decision-making and showing evidence of their performance. But that's costly and it's time-consuming to collect and act on that data. We're trying to bring that process into the 21st century. Using drone-derived imagery, we're able to much more rapidly collect, analyze, and act on data. This project in particular is really cool because I think it has the potential to really ramp up the level of monitoring that can be done at restoration sites. What that allows us to do is learn more from the work that we do and do better work and do more of it. <laughs>